Hi everyone, this is the official channel of the Science Hub Mutual Aid Community. In this video, we will explain in detail the recently added functions and community strategies and answer some questions. In this update, we have added AI drawing and ChatGPT dialog functions. Let us enter the classification column and then find the corresponding column on the left list page. Then we click to enter the ChatGPT column where you can ask questions to ChatGPT and publish them. After about 10 seconds, the ChatGPT v3.5 model will answer your questions. You can ask him to provide you with a paper introduction reference or write and for confer, reports, etc. You can refer to the template here for questions, but due to technical problems, continuous questions to AI are currently not supported. It is worth noting that this column is mainly set up to answer people's various questions, and ChatGPT will not help you find documents. Next, we enter the AI drawing section, where you can ask AI to generate a picture according to your description such as generate the foundation details of steel building. However, according to the current feedback from users, the obtained picture does not seem to be not particularly ideal. So please don't have high requirements for AI, it can only help you complete some simple drawing requirements. After the introduction of the new functions, let's introduce some policy updates about the community this time. Update 1. In order to better improve the success rate of downloading, we have set point requirements for some hard-to-download journals, such as Benzum and Brill, we require a minimum reward of 50 points. A minimum reward of 20 points is required. For more points restrictions, please check our article introduction. Update 2. According to our statistics, less than 10% of people who post more than 72 hours will get help. In order to make more scientific use of academic resources, we have adjusted the automatic closing time of posts to 72 hours later, that is to say, if no one helps you for more than 3 days, the post will be automatically closed. You can only initiate a new request and provide as much information as possible. Update 3. In order to protect everyone's information, we have disabled the username and title search function located on the right side of the navigation. Finally, let us answer the questions that users have encountered in the community. Question 1. What should I do if the required ebook does not have a DOI number? Answer. Requests for ebooks without a DOI number are also allowed, but you must provide the necessary information such as the source link, title, author, date, etc. of the ebook. And you need to select a full book. Otherwise your request may be closed by the administrator, because you don't really want help at all. Question 2. I uploaded a lot of documents but they didn't accept them, what should I do? Answer. Don't worry, we have already set relevant rules for the system. When the user who seeks help does not accept the document you uploaded for more than 72 hours, the system will automatically accept the document and issue points to your account. 
so please be patient, although his behavior is very impolite. Question 3. What does only allow the applicant to download mean? Answer. This is because we only allow articles to be downloaded by people who ask for help. If you also want the same article, then you can post the same help post. Why do we make such a restriction? Because most of the articles here are not allowed to spread widely, only supported for personal non-commercial use.